Hello everyone. Welcome to Advanced Real World Hacking with Practical Videos course. I'm your course instructor Snail and the topic for this lecture is browser hacking. The objective of this course is to understand how vis visiting a malicious link on internet can compromise your machine and can lead to a variety of attacks. Let's go to the demonstration part. Go to the Kali Linux machine. Open the terminal. We'll be using browser exploitation framework also known as PEEF for all our browser hacking attacks. PEEF is readily available in all Kali Linux distribution and can be found under user share directory. Let's go to the PEEF directory. Before we start the beef program, we need to make some minor changes in the beef configuration file found in the same directory. Here is the beef configuration file. Let us make use of nanotext editor for making the changes. In the configuration file, we are looking for HTTP server settings. In the host section, we need to type in the IP address of the machine. This tells the beef on which IP address it should start the HTTP server. Let's take a look at the IP address of the machine. Here it is. We'll quickly make the changes. Beef by default listens on port 3000 and can be changed if intended. In case you want to start the beef server on your public IP address, you can provide the public IP address at this location. And you also need to do port forwarding of this specified port in your router. The reason we might want to provide the public IP address at this section is we might want to target victims which are not inside the same local area network and are available somewhere on the internet. In that case, we will be using public IP address. Now let's save the changes to the configuration file. We'll do so by, by hitting Control O, then Enter, then Control X. At this point, we are ready to start the B program. Beef takes a couple of seconds to load successfully. As you can see, Beef server has started successfully and you can start it if, and you can stop it if you want it by using control C. It also displays some of the useful information. It has 12 extensions. Extensions are like core configuration settings utilized by Beef. And it has loaded or enabled 241 modules. Modules are attack templates which can be used to perform different attacks on the victim's browser remotely. It also tells us that it is listening on the IP address mentioned in the configuration settings. It also shows the information where the beef UI is listening. Now let's go to the beef UI, take a look at it. The default credentials for accessing beef is beef beef. Now we will understand the different options here in a while. Let's take a look at this information displayed here. Hook URL is a JavaScript hosted on Beef server, which needs to be executed on victim's machine in order to control the browser remotely. 
now this can be achieved by tricking victim into accessing a page which has this javascript embedded and it gets executed when the victim visits that page or you can use some of the advanced technique like doing MITM attack and injecting JavaScript on the fly victim into victim's browser in a local area network scenario. We'll be not looking into MITM attack as it is out of the scope of this lecture. Let's understand the social engineering method to execute this JavaScript URL into victim's browser. One way to achieve this is creating a sample page, HTML page, and embed this JavaScript URL, and then host the HTML page on the web server controlled by you. Moving forward, you can provide the URL to access the page hosted by you to the victim, and when the victim will access that page, the JavaScript will get executed in the background silently and the victim will get connected to the B framework and you can control their browser remotely moving forward. Let's take a look at this on how we can achieve this. We'll go to the text editor, leafpad, and we will create an HTML page which we will host on the machine. Now we have our HTML page ready. You can use this script tag to inject into any of the page controlled by you in order to trick victim into executing this JavaScript. Now I have not created a very fancy page. In a real world scenario, you, you might want to make changes to this HTML source code and make the page look fancy or legit so that victim should not get suspicious and open the page and then the JavaScript will get executed and you will have access to their browser which you can control remotely and perform different attacks from there. Now let's save this index.html file. On the desktop. There we have the index.html file. Now one way to trick victim into opening this HTML file is either you send this file directly to the victim and ask them to open this page somehow or host this HTML page on the web server controlled by you and provide victim the URL to access this page. Now let's take a look at how we can host this HTML page on the local Kali Linux machine here. Go to terminal. You can see the index.html file here. We'll copy the file into the var www.html directory. This is the directory for Apache. Now we will start the Apache.
and we have our web server ready holding the index.html patch now you can mail the victim this URL on which you have your web server listening and have the index.html file ready to be served you can write them an email and say hey check out this URL or website it looks really cool and you can provide them the link this link you can also use URL shortener to hide the IP address like bit ly all right so at this point of time everything is ready and now the attacker is waiting for the victim to access this URL so the JavaScript gets executed and the victim browser gets connected to the brief framework now let's take a look how it happens on the victim side the victim will receive an email from the attacker and access the URL you have to be a little creative in tricking victim into accessing the URL I will leave that task up to you now the moment victim access the URL he'll be presented with the page hosted by us or the attacker if we'll look into the source code you can see the JavaScript is available and gets executed in the background silently now if we go to the hackers machine or the attacking machine we can see a new browser got hooked and the victim's IP address is this and the browser type is Internet Explorer the version is 11 and the Windows operating system is Windows 7 if we take a look at the beef UI we will also see the similar information it is always advisable to look into to the information getting started information to understand what beef is and what are the different options available within the beef now if we click on this multiple tabs gets populated you can explore each of these tabs you can see all of the information about the browser which is internet Ex about the browser of the victim which is internet explorer browser version is 11 and you can see all of the different components like flash vb script quick time real player if all of these are installed or not you'll get to see it here these information are very useful in framing other attacks or crafting other attacks on the victim side we'll go to the command section command tab and we can see these are the different modules which are available within the framework these modules are like attack templates which you can use to perform different attacks on victims browser remotely from this console let's take a look at some of these if the victim browser is Chrome you, you, you will have Chrome extensions which you can utilize similarly there's subcategories in each of these modules it's a huge list it depends on the use and on the requirement now I will not go into all of these but definitely I'm going to show you some of the usage for few modules let's say if you want to detect if the victim machine has MS office installed or not we'll click on this module and you can see the description about the module this module detects if the version of MS office on the victim's browser or machine you'll execute it We'll click it here to see the command return from the victim's browser and as you can see the victim has office 2010 installed on his machine similarly you can explore all of these options I'll show you a couple of interesting modules which I like we'll go to social engineering 
we'll go to pretty theft so at this point you can force victim into providing their username and password for Facebook LinkedIn Gmail by creating a floating division on their screen you can choose different options from here let's see how it happens on the victims machine the victim is presented with a pop-up which says provide the information your session has timed out warning obviously if the victim is logged into the Facebook it will look more alleged in any case if the victim provides the information and logs in the information can be seen by the hacker Beef is a very powerful framework for some of the recon reconnaissance and information gathering and social engineering attacks. You can also make use of some of the powerful modules such as HTA partial which will deliver partial payload on victim's machine and will present you with the metapreter shell at the end of execution, at the end of payload execution. Also you can use attacks like fake flash update. You can take a look at the description about it. This will pop up a fake flash update window and if the victim clicks on the install button, it will install the user supplied uh, payload or a file on victim's machine. You can use this for malware spreading or executing a backdoor. Let's see how it happens if you click on install you can see it is downloading something from github if you open it or if you save it a variety of operations can be performed I'll show you another interesting thing you can create a alert dialog if you want to scare your victim you can type in and the victim will see the warning on his web page I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something beneficial from this course I also hope that you will use this information wisely and responsibly. Thank you for taking this course.